Hello, and welcome to Code Club. In this Code Club, we will be learning about NASA's Space Jam using Blockly. I thought since October 14th is an eclipse that we would get our brains all ready for NASA and NASA related things like eclipses and astronomy and all of that. So let's get started. I'm going to move my video screen to down here, so don't get worried. Um, and we are going to look at this particular hour of code lesson. So I'm going to walk you through quite a bit of it because I really want you to understand all the different elements of how we're doing things because there is a little bit of reading instructions involved. I'm sorry, but it's true. So let's go down. So we have stars. What is a star? What is a planet? What's an exoplanet? What's orbit? Orbital period. Um, so this is how long it takes for the planet to go around, which is important for when you get through the sequences. Scale, um, this is a sequence of notes, like da 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 da. I know, you just heard me sing, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, octave, that's da 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 da. So you have different things and you will need these as part of this hour of code. So sonification, um, so we are being able to see um, sound, being like data and sounds like how they process and what's that that's called sonification so we have our lesson down here so we're going to get started so welcome to our our coding board so over here we will see eventually whatever it is that we code at the moment we have a video here so if you need some extra help I am not going to watch these videos because this recording will not pick up the sound and then we will waste our time. But if you need help, just pause the video and play your draw background video to understand what's happening. But I'm going to show you the instructions for the first couple ones. All right. So up here, this is our instruction panel. And as you can see, you can have it read to you. So if you want to listen to it, that is fine. Or you can read it and do the little... Um, drag down. So it says we need to move the create background and stick it in the setup block. Check. All right, then we get to choose our favorite background. I am going to do all of these polka dot looking stars, or maybe I'll do this one, the big cascade. And then it says move draw background into the loop box because that's going to let it keep running. And then we can hit the run button. So, ooh, look at that, that's so pretty. And look at that, we completed lesson one. Go us! So these are building ones, so we're gonna keep going forward. All right, continue. So now we are supposed to create a star somewhere on the screen and it has a certain size. So I'm gonna put that in the setup box because if you notice, they're the same colors. So I think that they belong together. And then the draw star, I'm going to put that in there as well. And I want to change the color of my star to this bright blue. And I think I want to change the size a little bit so I can see it better. Oops, look, there's my blue right there. And look at that, we completed lesson two. You guys are so smart. Um, so let's hit continue. And now we are going to keep moving forward. So it says drag this and put it in the setup. Once again, you notice the blocks are the same color, so they all go with the blocks that are, look similar. And then we're gonna draw our planet. All right, so this is the planet color. So if you wanna make it something that you'll notice better, I'm gonna make it this teal color because I really like that. Um, and then we're gonna hit run. And look at that, we have a planet that is going around a star. Is this starting to remind you of something in astronomy? Let's see, let's keep going. All right, so now we have to draw more planets. So we're gonna need to drag this in here for however many amounts of planets that you want. So I'm gonna change the color of each planet so I know which ones are which, and teal, and then let's do yellow. And then right now they're all the same size of 10, um, and I wanna make the first one 0.5, or not 5, 0.5, I just want five. 
And then I want the period to, this is like the distance between it and the previous planet or the star. So I want to create different variations so that way they're not all sitting on top of each other. So I'm going to do 0.5 for the first one one for the second and 1.5 for the other. I'm going to make this one 10 and I'm going to make this one 25. And then we have to put our draw planets into the loop. So let's see if we got it right. Oh, look at that. It is going. And we did lesson four. All right, so now there's already a little planet here for us. So we are going to create and draw a string by placing create string and draw into the right place. So if planet, I don't even know. Let's see, where do we put this? All right, so we're going to do a string angle, block string. Um, so it says, string, Let's see, if you place this block within the loop block, it will keep checking to see if the planet has crossed a string. All right, let's see if this does anything. Oh, look, there's a string right there. What do you know? We completed lesson five. All right, so I want you to keep developing your galaxy. So you're going to continue following all of these. And I think you're going to find that you're going to create a really, really cool musical galaxy. And I hope you enjoy this little lesson from NASA and from Grundy Library. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.